Hi, I'm Shannon Lee, and this is Shannon Lee Pencil Me In. I promote bands where they play on the weekends. I have a Facebook page. I do live interviews with them, and at these interviews, I also take pictures of the bands, and I do videos of the bands. I am based in Michigan, and I have bands from Indiana, Ohio, and Illinois, and today, I'd like to talk to you on a series I put together on how to promote your band. Now this is just not imp um, all important just for the bands, but it's also important for me so that I can promote the bands I promote. I am close to about, I'd have to say 600 bands right now, so anyone's out there and they want to be added to where the bands play on the weekends, I can add you as long as you're kind of in the states that I'm doing, so it makes it just a little bit easier. But today we're talking about um, your web page because I think this is a great part to start on because it's very important you really need to have an updated web page um, one of the first things I like to talk to you about is your link to your page um, you really need to have a good search engine with correct keywords and phrases um, basically what I'm saying is your name is Rockstar Rockstar Rocks that's good, but if your Facebook says Rockstar Rocks the World, that's really not going to help me because I'm not going to be able to find you because your band is Rockstar Rocks. So that doesn't really help me. And there could be a million other bands out there that maybe say Rockstar Rocks. So see, that those right there are two completely separate problems. And another problem with that could be Rockstar could be spelled with a um, R, capital, Star can be, uh, also be spelled with an S, capital. So those are some similar problems I run into all the time also. So when you do a web page, those are three problems that you kind of need to think about too. So um, kind of think about that because if you don't have the key phrases and stuff, I'm really not going to be able to find you. Neither will a band promoter or a manager or a bar or a booking agency. Uh, another thing is, is when we come looking for you and you um, have a Facebook page that's your personal Facebook page, please be aware that a lot of times we're coming at you personally by us. And um, I run into it all the time where they think I might be a fan. Well, kind of pay attention who's coming at you if it's just your page because you know Shannon Lee pencil me in is different than Shannon Lee so pay attention to who's liking your page so or check out their page before you deny it or you set a, a wife or girlfriend or boyfriend on you you know that's something else now let's get back talking about the page itself um, the page has to be updated it can't be something you put together this is 2016 because that's not going to work. Don't even bother have a Facebook page if that's if it's that old. You know, um, the couple of things that your Facebook page have to have has to be updated. You, um, sorry, my hair. It has to be updated. You need to have your gigs updated. Try to have one or two updated. You know, one two out because. Um, Fans maybe can't make it this weekend, but maybe they can make it next weekend and they kind of want to know where you're at. One at a time just doesn't do it. Say, this Saturday I'm babysitter and this Saturday I'm doing something else, but you know where your next Saturday is, so maybe I can make it next Saturday. So try to keep at least two ahead. Another thing is, is when we hit the about section about you, you need to have your autobiography updated, your band members always need to be updated. So if someone's left, left your band, you need to put that new member in. You need, always need to have an updated picture of your new band. Somebody leaves, you bring somebody in. So you need to make sure that that's updated. Your contact information has to be updated. You need to um, correct email, correct phone number, correct booking agency, correct record company. Sorry correct management we got to know this information you know if we can't find this information and if this information is not updated you know we're gonna move on 
and you're out of luck. There are millions of other bands out there, you you know. Seriously, we can go anywhere. Another thing is, so we want to know what kind of band you are. Are you country? Are you tribute? Are you cover? Are you jazz? Are you hard rock? Are you heavy metal? You know, we want to know that too because, you know, someone might contact me and say, I need a country band and you're heavy metal. You know, I can't send them heavy metal when they ask for country. So I could skip you all the way and just say, you know, I just, you're really not cooperating with what I need and I will pass you on too. So, um, that is also something else that we need to talk about. Um, so, let's review what we talked about. Kind of went through it kind of fast. One, you need to have correct link to your page. You need to have your autobiography up to date. You need to have your um, information up to date, your band members up to date, your pictures up to date, your gigs up to date. Oh, another thing is, if when I go through your page, it needs to be easy to navigate because I'm not going to sit there and spend 10 years trying to find anything out. And also, um, if your, your um, page is nothing but we did this, we did this, or just gigs or something, that, that, that's not going to keep me interested either. You need to have interesting material on your web page. You know, fans are looking at this. You need to make sure that you got things for them to look at, things that keep them interested. You know, you guys need to remember that your fans also. So what you put out there, your fans are seeing. So you need to make sure that um, what you need to bring. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> you need to remember if it interests you, it should interest your fan. Because you need to put yourself in their shoes. So if you're bored looking at your own website, you got to think a thousand times more. Your fans are bored and they're not going to want to come see you. So you need to remember that. You need to put yourself in your fans' shoes. So, most important thing is make sure your web page is always up to date, interesting, easy to get around, and the information is always available. Okay, now... I got plenty more information. So this is Shannon Lee. Pencil me in. This is my very first um, series on how to promote your band. So stay tuned and I will be doing some more. You guys have a great day. Thank you.